And Haywards Heath, Adrian, what's your view? 45 seconds, please. I just want to say, uh, Ian, that I think the perfect representative of the royal family to go is Prince Michael of Kent. He uh, is very popular in Russia. He visits often. He looks very much like Tsar Nicholas II with his splendid... He does, period. doesn't he? And the uh, final is on the 15th of July. My birthday. One, is it? Yeah. The 100th anniversary of the assassination of Tsar Nicholas is on the 17th, three days later. Now, just imagine how wonderful it would be to have Prince Michael of Kent and his fragrant wife in the royal box of the World Cup final <laughs> and the week of the anniversary of the assassination of the Tsar. Oh, Princess Michael would absolutely love that, wouldn't it? Wouldn't she, rather? Didn't mean to call her in it, I promise, Your Royal Highness. Well, um, fascinating cause. I suspect we might return to this if we do uh, get to the final, because as we all know, it is coming home. Coming up at eight, it's Clive Ball. Next lead in Britain's conversation is Nigel Farage. Thanks, Ian. Theresa May today insisted she will stick to her Brexit red lines ahead of Friday's Cabinet meeting at Chequers. At PMQs today, Mrs May said she would deliver a Brexit that ensures we are out of the customs union, out of the single market, out of the jurisdiction of the Europe European Court of Justice, but looking at her concessions so far, do you believe Mrs May will stick to her red lines on Friday? And if you think we've no reason to doubt this woman, then call me on 0345 6060 973. Or maybe you think you wouldn't trust her as far as you could throw her, in which case text me on 84850. Or maybe you think cabinet infighting will put her in an almost impossible position, in which case tweet using the hashtag Farage and LBC at LBC. Watch us on Facebook. We're live from Strasbourg. Next. On your radio, on your phone, and here. Play LBC. Leading Britain's conversation, this is LBC. From Global's newsroom at 7 o'clock, the Porton Down Weapons Facility is analysing samples after two people were exposed to a mystery substance in Wiltshire.